Hello, this is Majd from Bird Tools, and uh, today we've got a new app for you. So, new app is Dynamo Multiplayer. So, what Dynamo Multiplayer is, it's a universal batch processor for Revit and uh, BIMC60. So, basically, it can run any Dynamo script you have over uh, multiple uh, Revit models uh, in a batch mode. So, uh, we're pretty excited about this app because it's also the first free Revit add in ever to include Forge. Uh, uh, BIMC60 API and data management API to be able to retrieve and process BIMC60 models. So uh, we're hitting uh, two stones with one bird with this one. Uh, in order to install this app, uh, so uh, this is the install that you can uh, download uh, from our website. So all you have to do is just double click this uh, installer. Now, you, if you want to be safe, you can just right click it and run it as administrator. It should elevate automatically when you double click it, but just to be safe, you're gonna run it as admin. And you just follow the wizard, and there it is, it's installed. If you want to uninstall it later on, also I'm sure you wouldn't. You can do that either in uh, the control panel, the programs and feature uh, menu. Or you can just also double click the installer and it would give you this uh, menu uh, and allow you to uninstall the app. Now that the app is installed, uh, you can just open Revit and uh, check it out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So right now we're gonna wait for Revit to open. Still waiting for Revit to show up. And there we go. So now that the uh, Revit is opened, I'm just gonna open one of the sample files. And uh, you can see that the uh, Bird Tools uh, ribbon tab has been added. So the tool will be accessible uh, under that uh, ribbon tab. Okay, great. That's it. That's the tool. This is where you can access it. So once you press this push button, the round push button, uh, the tool would attempt to find uh, which Dynamo version you have installed, so it needs like uh, 5 to 10 seconds to, to detect it. Once it detects it, it would show up the uh, user interface of the tool. There you go. So this is the user interface, we try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, first you can uh, select the Revit models here. So we're gonna add a couple of uh, Revit models. You have two ways to add models, so uh, because you have two types of, uh, of files, not just models, so because it can process uh, families as well. Uh, you have uh, local, locally hosted uh, models or offline models, if you want, or files. So these can be added through a regular browser. Uh, so uh, you just select the models and uh, open them and they will be added to the list. Now keep in mind that you can add uh, files from several folders. I'm going to add these two files. And there's another mode, of course, BIMC60 mode. This is where Forge comes in play. So as soon as you press this one, there's a new Forge BIMC60 crawler that was developed just for this app. So it uh, can access all the hubs, BIMC60 hubs that you have uh, permission to access. In this case, I have two. One is confidential, one is not as confidential as uh, the other. Um, I'm going to check the Bird Tools hub. I have a sample project uh, under this hub. As soon as I click it, it would give me the listing of that project. And if it has a model, it would show me the model in the directory listing uh, list. So this is where Forge is, this is doing its magic. Once I select this uh, model, I just have to press the select model uh, button and it would be added to the item selected. If I want to clear the selection, I can. I can also select several models from several direc uh, BIMC60 directories as well before closing the window and adding them to the user list. So I'm going to select this one, one item selected. I'm going to close it and it would be added to the list. Of course, you can export and import settings. We're going to get back to that later on. Dynamo Q. So uh, this, as this is a Dynamo batch processor, you can add as many Dynamo uh, scripts as you want. So I'm going to add two scripts right now. I have these two uh, kind of evil Dynamo scripts. So the first one deletes all the grids. Uh, it's, it's a pretty, pretty useless uh, Dynamo script, but it's just uh, an example. The other one deletes all sections. Um, so uh, of course you can do uh, both functionalities through one script. 
but uh, this is just to showcase that you can add several Dynamo scripts uh, to the queue. And in case you have two scripts and you don't have time to combine them into one, uh, this tool has you covered. It would uh, uh, process multiple Dynamo scripts. Now that I've added the scripts I want to to process, I have three models for this app. So I have a synchronized mode, so in case you select a central model, the synchronized mode would uh, open a new local file for you and synchronize back. Um, uh, pretty much the synchronized mode is a little bit similar to the third mode, which we'll be discussing later on for uh, models that are not uh, uh, work shared, but for work shared models, it would synchronize instead of overriding. The read only mode, if you just want to extract data or export, uh, let's say IFC or DWG. So, this is basically you can, this is a batch uh, processor that can do anything. So, if you want to batch export, uh, it's a batch export. If you want to batch extract uh, information, it's a batch uh, information extractor. If you want to batch edit models, it's a batch model editor. If you want to batch run Q or Q or quality assessment uh, scripts, it can, you can do so. So anything you want to do in batch, uh, you can batch upgrade models using this. It's just add a dynamo script, a dummy dynamo script that does nothing, and it would uh, upgrade your models. Uh, so this is a universal dynamo, dynamo batch processor. If you just want to do uh, an action that doesn't require editing the model, you can select the second mod and safely do that without modifying your model. Third mode is a brute force mode, so it would overwrite your central models if you select a central model. It, it should be used with caution because it would uh, overwrite a central file if it's a central file. Okay. Uh, I have an option here for the third mode. It could write uh, transmit data to your models. You know it transmit uh, and how it uh, makes your models uh, detached by default and when you double click them it would ask you either to save them as central file or work temporarily. If you check this uh, checkbox it would uh, do that for you similar to what e transmit does. Uh, this is very useful if you're processing models uh, to send them later on. Uh, so uh, you have also an option to specify either open all work sets or just open the less viewed ones. So. Uh, you can also uh, specify this option. Now once you specify your options, if you want to keep these settings, if you have a regular job that you want to do every week, you have uh, export and uh, import settings. You can export the settings to uh, an external file. Let's call it uh, bird. Okay, uh, and you can save it. And you can import it as well later on. If you so, once we have uh, configured this uh, tool, we can now just proceed and uh, run our scripts over these files. We're gonna hit the proceed button. There we go. So now it's uh, opening the files. We're gonna wait for it to, to finish. So in the meantime, I think uh, we should play some nice uh, bluesy tune okay let's do it and here you go so uh, processing is complete just like that just make sure uh, that your dynamo script is uh, of the same version of your uh, current Dynamo uh, version. So if you're using, uh, for let's say, Dynamo 2.3 uh, with Revit 2020, so that your scripts are saved in the same version, just to avoid errors. And that's it. Uh, we're done. Let's uh, verify that uh, the script has done what we wanted to do. I'm gonna go to the, actually I'm gonna open the BIMC60 model to verify the forge feature. There you go. So all the grids were deleted out of the sample model that was uploaded to BIMC60. You can verify the sections as well. There you go, no sections. So uh, I hope you gonna enjoy this app and uh, any feedback you have just feel free to contact us and uh, yeah cheers